What's good, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of everyone's favorite show, Good, good influences. influences, with Mike Sheffer, Matt King, Carly and Contro, and Aaron Guilfoy. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about things we could live without. Could another complainer another episode. episode about us complaining. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't think of it that way, <laughs> but I guess it is. No, I don't think it's technically complaining because, like, we wanted to make it so it was like things that are popular and like we enjoy genuinely yes. not just like well i could live without <laughs> yeah like, something like, that i already don't give a shit about yeah so it's it's like stuff that's hard airplanes yeah well no that's not a good i actually example. did think of that i was like could i live that's without? what I, yeah you you had written that down well i wrote the tsa and i was like but what about the whole <laughs> well, 9 11 thing i don't know <laughs> I, I really, dude, I can really go without no, TSA. You, the yeah, most you were talking lights. about it for the last episode, too. I fucking hate TSA. It's <laughs> just... Pre-check. Pre-check. Get pre-check. I have pre-check. Free for all. Then, Free I, for all but I still, people. as an American, as an American, <laughs> when I, even when I walk through pre-check and I see the, the line of other people and like that, they go through that fucking scanner. The clear thing? Oh, I, just all of it. It's no, just all a fucking... Oh, oh. He means like the metal detector Yeah, scanner. where you stand there and it goes... You have. I know, I'm like, am I getting an MRI? Yeah, what is this I fucking mean? wish. <laughs> Print out my scans. <laughs> I'm see your stomach issues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little constipated. It's just all fake nonsense. It's theater. It doesn't do anything. It's not theater. Yes, the, it is. No, they can see things. No, but there's been like multiple. Why do you multiple... think I have a hair tie on? They're like, can I see your arm? They saw it in the there's thing. There's multiple. They skin my hands every there time. There is multiple studies that have proven that TSA will not catch people bringing contraband so to flights. You, have you not followed the so TSA? La, 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 la. <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> Dude, have you not seen the TSA's Instagram account? They share everything <laughs> that they oh, that, have you seen their TikTok. No, they, no Dude, the TSA's Instagram is unhinged. It's what? it's probably run by like a Gen Z kid or something. They share all the confiscated uh, hmm. items that they've Wait, gotten over the past week, what? and you'll I've see seen like this. you'll see like this. true razor blade like ninja stars and shit. Yes. Wait, I'm following. I right have seen this. this. It's like crazy, grenades. and and it's like the people who work there. It's just they just film shit on their iPhones, and then they'll just like make a video zooming in on someone. <laughs> They're like official Instagram. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Do they still do it, or do they stop? Well, yeah, there's it. a giant bag of weed on the second <laughs> row, so which uh, how TSA, big is the weed? It's 420 everywhere, but we're de- we're here delivering this, and then it's like a bunch of um, oh, just... marijuana paraphernalia and weed, and oh, this is a crack pipe! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> See, I always fly with weed, and I never love... like think about it. What? F- what? I've oh, I've since like 2017, I've always flown with Carly, weed. Don't incriminate yourself on this podcast. <laughs> Well, it's legal, like it it's legal at LAX to fly out with weed. Yeah. There was one time I was at an airport and I was in line for TSA and I realized that I had edibles on me and in the middle of the line, I went, <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom and I stepped out of the line and I threw it all away in, in the bathroom trash can. Oh, you would have been and fine. And then I went back into the line and everything was fine, but coming back into the country, I got like... Oh, out of the country. When I came back into the country, I feel like they took note of me and I did something weird in pre-check that seemed <laughs> well, yeah, off. If you got out of line, I got weird. out of line and I feel like they must have facial tracked me and figured out it was me. And then when I came back in, they like ch- asked me a few questions. They posted these Sharpies that they confiscated because someone turned them into shivs. And What's it was a shiv. A like knife. a knife. Yeah. Oh, oh, she's on God. succession. She's one of the yeah. sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Siobhan. <laughs> Uh, so I could do without TSA. So you I was, could live without I was TSA. thinking about we, I <laughs> could so live funny. without airplanes, but but then how would oh, you yeah, get, how like would you get back to how would you get back to Israel? Stuff. Well, a boat. <laughs> well, you row across <laughs> in the U.S. I just wish we had more trains because yes. that would be the best. Like if you could take a train from here to New York, an overnight train. Uh, oh my God! Yeah, sign me up. Uh, I think it would take like two days on a train. Two days? Yeah. No. A bullet train to where? To get oh, where? a bullet from, from train. He, like from here to New York. From LA to... New- okay, so if an airplane goes, what, 500 miles an hour? Oh, yeah. And it takes five hours. That's true. If you do a train that goes 200 miles an hour, like half oh God, of that. So fast. It's like 10 hours, 12 hours. Come on. Get on at 8 p.m. I wonder if I New would then become afraid of trains. <laughs> would you be afraid of trains? <laughs> I'm not now, which is weird because I feel like they crash all the time. Like I'm always seeing train crashes. Yeah. yeah. But those are usually like... Chemical like, ones, what people we, ones. Oh, really? Make trains look cooler. <laughs> they all look like, so old. There's always like some that have like that look awesome. I'm like, why don't all of them look cool? Like the monorail at Disneyland. Yeah. Remember when we took the one in Italy? Like how sick that was. Oh yeah. Just taking the train, you're just it's That's beautiful. True. It's so much less like airplanes are just these. It's just like capitalism 
squishing as oh, many people as they can into a little great. fucking. I could go to fucking any state I want or any country I want and like. In a few hours, few I get hours. that. I get that. But imagine if you could also like spend a few more extra hours, but you got like a room on a train and you could just sleep overnight yeah. instead of like sitting like this next to like someone. Oh, you don't fly a uh, business class? No, I don't fly business <laughs> you class. You don't fly okay. Emirates <laughs> private <laughs> no. room? Oh, that's I weird. tried that's to <laughs> book a business class flight yesterday because there was like for some reason deeply discounted and Ooh. I was going to pay with points. And then I transferred the points over and then, but the transfer didn't take effect immediately like i still haven't gotten them and then they bumped the price up so <gasps> now i'm like i just have to book a regular flight where were you going I'm going to new york nice mm -hmm. that, that sucks nice. yeah airlines business class is so fucking expensive even i mean regular tickets are so crazy yeah, now. it's like it was like 500 bucks to fly to new york That's but pretty it, good. for an extra 300 dollars it was first class i just That's... spent 500 dollars to go to vegas Jet are you flying X? jet suite yeah <laughs> But I was looking at Delta first, and it was more expensive yeah. than Jet Suite. Five hundred just to go to Vegas. Yeah, that's but really on expensive. Jet Suite. I feel like that's like pretty standard for them. Mm, I've paid less, but I was looking before Jet Suite. I was looking from Burbank that's both ways, there and back. Full round trip. Yeah, I feel like yeah, that's pretty yeah, good. Jet Suite. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. But just make sure Jet Jet Suite. One time, I was they put me on the wrong flight. I well, was you can get on seat. any. You can get on any flight if there's room. The thing is, I had my headphones on. And there were people lining up, and I go, is this Vegas? And I should have been more firm, and they were like nodding, sure. The woman looked at my ticket, put me on the flight, I'm sitting there still with my headphones on. Oh god. And I listen, something's trying to be on the flight to Fresno, and I go, what? This is go and I take my <laughs> headphones off, and I go, is this going to Fresno? She goes, yes, and I'm like, D I'm, I'm supposed to be going to Vegas. <laughs> and they you scanned your ticket and didn't even notice? Yes. But apparently, and I was still like, I was really like frustrated with them. I go, why would you let me get on a flight that I wasn't supposed to be on? She goes, sir, we would have done when we would have done like roll call or like the check to make sure. Sounds like a bunch of nonsense. And I was like, that makes no sense. Aaron, Aaron are get you off writing your a phone. novel? Can you believe this, guys? Aaron's on her phone. Yeah, she's I writing a novel. I don't give a shit. <laughs> no, I have like a giant package being delivered, so I'm seeing if the person oh. at my house can get the front door. Because What's in the box? Keep it there. What's in the box, Erin? A ton of clothes. Ooh. I have another one, but we can go around in circles. Well, I can do without my appendix. <laughs> so <can> Matt. <laughs> that was my one, my first one. But like a real one. Oh, um, the new airpods like the big ones oh the airpod over. maxes yes i could not do good. without them i've tried i tried them for my friend and i was like i don't get the hype no, they're not and they're good. also poor they're uh, no offense to anybody who has spent their money on it treat yourself no, live no, your no. best life don't spend your but money like, on fucking apple airpod maxes i, I like looked <laughs> well it was like 650 something dollars and i looked into all of the hardcore tech reviewers people who specialize <laughs> in product design and what things are worth and people who look into it they have done a firm look into the AirPod Max Pros, and it's like these are shit. These yeah, are good. I've seen that. If you too. bob your head once, the all of them falls off. Wait, and do you have them? Um, Emma does, so I borrowed oh. them once because I was like, maybe I'll get them. And I went on a walk with them, and I was like, I just they're so heavy. Yeah, and they don't sound good. And they're they, too big. They, they rub against each other. There's no you case have them? for it. No, but I've tried them. Patricia, oh. I got Patricia them because I was like, oh, I, I love you. I'll get you what you really <laughs> I love want. You, okay. But I was still. These They're have so been expensive. rated. Yeah, the, the best headphones. Do you know what they are? Are they in Sony? The game? Well, there's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the XM fives. Yeah. Well, the best. there's there's debates. I have the Bose, uh, like model of that caliber. I think the Bose are the best. The twenty dollar ones on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the Nautica Bose collab that you get at Marshalls. Oh yeah, the yeah. Nautica <laughs> headphones. <laughs> Skull candy. <Yeah. laughs> Oh my god. I bought school kit. Um, when it was like really hot out last summer, I was going to the gym instead of walking outside because it was so fucking hot. And I forgot headphones. So there was like a Dollar Tree next door. So I was like, I'll just get headphones here. And they were literally, I don't know if they were school candy, but they were the ones that have like also an attached like little microphone. Oh yeah, those are the best. <laughs> but it was like such an annoying experience. I was like, I'm just here to like walk on the treadmill for like two hours. And I had to go two next hours. door. Oh my god. Yeah. And I went next door and I feel like always at Dollar Trees and stuff like that, the line is like yeah, it's very long, insane. And I was just sitting there, I was like, oh, can I just like hand them a five dollar bill and like run out of can here? Can you just have a self checkout at the Dollar Tree? Yeah, it's no. like those headphones that they give you on airplanes. 
They were worse than those, I think. Those are the fucking worst. No, they're terrible. And like the, the, the ear pod like thing, it's like just hard plastic. Yes. Oh, it's yeah. It's insane. Granted, they're free, but I'm like, I yeah. can't hear anything. Okay, the other thing I don't understand about the big Apple ones is so many, I see so many influencers like working out with them at the gym and I'm like, don't they Ew. get sweaty? Like, I don't yes. understand. Like, They're not made for that either. Yeah, and I'm just, I don't understand. I mean, I think they look cool, to be honest, but yeah. I just don't really. I think they're chic. I don't really like. Do you have them? Does TJ no. have them? Mm -mm. Um, yeah, I don't know. Full it's buns. just, it's just yeah. that's like Apple marketing classic yeah. hype selling bullshit. Like yeah. it's not actually. My favorite are the Beats like um, earbuds. AirPods Pro. Oh wait, no, Beats. Just, they're just like Beats earbuds. They're they're great. Oh they wow. They fit really well. They last for fucking ever. I have the Apple ones that are like the noise canceling. The Apple AirPod Pros. Those yeah. are good. The regular. They're so nice. Yeah, those are nice. But Never the over the ear I've heard headphones. That like Bluetooth ones are like really bad for you. <sighs> Like for your brain, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, there's I, like... I think that's going to be a thing we all find out in like 50 years from now. Yeah. All this Bluetooth Wi Fi. Well, they're talking about it. But like, I in know the people 70s, like won't use them. And like because in the 50s, people it. were smoking cigs sure. in hospitals and they were like, well, it's just smoking cigarettes. It's <laughs> Next fine. To oxygen. Well, yeah. well, the 50s were lawless. <laughs> but like, <laughs> yeah. what? Like, wait, we're going to. I'm wait, just we saying. We shouldn't be wearing Bluetooth headphones. I'm just we saying. Should be, we should be wearing a wire. But even, uh -huh. dude, even like Wi Fi, the fact that there's Wi Fi yeah. everywhere. Yeah, I think like, at this point we're just fucked. Yeah. I mean, we're putting our phones right near our, like, our sexual. But then, but then this, this, this starts to go down like the 5G microchip vaccine route where it's like you start to get conspiracy totally, theories. Yeah. So we're not, we're not saying that. But Sometimes yeah, I, I am. sleep with my phone like right here. <laughs> I'm saying it. Um, but also, no, like, that's like when you would like. I would always like have my laptop on like my stomach. Oh, and I was yeah. like, you're not gonna be able to have babies. I'm like, oh, thank you. Like, thank okay, God. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's Burn the point. <laughs> Saves me some money. What else can I put on here? <laughs> yeah. But I do think that the original cell phones, like the Nokia brick and those, like those actually did have radiation and stuff because they were just like oh, new God, technology. I used <laughs> what? No, yeah, I used we did. Those ones. <laughs> But I think now I that like smartphones probably have contained, but who knows? Yeah. Like if why like how is Wi Fi working and just not bad for you? How are they sending gigabytes of data through our fucking brains and we don't nothing's I don't know. I don't think it goes through our brains. That's probably why it's not going through our bodies. But it's just it's just like electric in the air. You don't know where it's yeah, going. I'm not a scientist, I don't know. <laughs> It probably goes around. There's I don't know. There's so many different Let us know in the comments anything. how Wi Fi works if you guys know. But those yeah. Apple AirPod headphones could do could live without could for live sure. without them. Yeah. Did the really like hot woman invent Wi-Fi? A hot she woman? was like an actress. I think a woman oh, did Hedy invent Lamar. Wi-Fi. She was a Jewish actress who invented like the precursor to Wi-Fi. She was a spy in World War II for America. Yeah. And also an actress, yes. And she, so was, like, cool, and she yeah. was gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, she was like a supermodel. Are you but, insinuating that smart people can't be attractive? No, no it's we're just, <laughs> just no. celebrating women. Women can invent things? Just, yeah. It's Classic insanely, Aaron finding a problem it, with something. It, I don't know, it's just an insanely attractive. <laughs> a really hot woman. <laughs> that would be just like, oh, did you hear Ana de Armas invented Wi-Fi? Like... <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of wild. Let Paris me, let me, yeah, I, I think it's it was, what I, it was. It basically is like what happened with Wi-Fi. I don't know if it was Wi-Fi, Matt, but it was Bluetooth. Yeah. It was Bluetooth. Yeah, oh yeah, look at her. Wow. I just start. Let me Wikipedia. Um, inventor. Although Lamar had no formal training and was primarily self-taught, she tinkered in her spare time on various hobbies and ideas, which included a traffic stoplight and a tablet that would dissolve to create a carbonated drink. Mm. Um, I thought you meant like an, an iPad. A tablet. Whoa. Jesus. During World War II, she read that radio-controlled torpedoes had been proposed. However, an enemy might be able to jam such torpedoes with guidance, if the guidance system, and set it off course. Let's see where she invented something. Um... Bluetooth. That's no, what she invented. Sorry. Yes. She was the precursor to Bluetooth. Huh. And she How was... do you invent that? I don't understand. I know. Huh? I love and look at her. Just like a classic. Oh, she looks like a goddamn movie beautiful star. Beautiful American yeah. actress. Yeah. I love those like TikToks where it's someone just like, it's just a video of beautiful nature. And they're like, someone made Wi-Fi out of all of this. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of lit. Here we are. Or like, like rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Or like a beautiful landscape. And they're like, I feel like there should be a mall here. <laughs> yeah. We should have oh, a parking lot here. That's one of mine. What? I could I could do without malls. Oh. If oh, every yeah. mall in America that's a good disappeared, one. I would be I would honestly be kind of thrilled. That's a good one. I feel like they were so high and mighty in our younger in years. In the nineties, yeah. I used to it's love like, going to the mall. Yeah. Saturday night, 
whoo, let's fucking go. Oh, my mom will drive. Your mom will pick up. Yeah. I just, I, I agree with you. I know that malls are like dead. I, I wish people had like better places for shop, like shopping centers. I don't like the idea of a mall just sitting there. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, just the thought into... of just all of that space and steel and, and oh. construction went into like a space and it just sits there dead. Like, oh, gives me, would... I don't know. Have you it looked just... at videos of like abandoned malls? Oh, all the There's time. There's one in Omaha that I've been to and it's like, it's really, really sad. This is us. <laughs> huh? There's an abandoned mall in oh. This Is Us. Oh. Yeah, I just like, I don't know, when I go into a mall now, I feel like I'm in a time machine of like, this is not <laughs> supposed to be here right now. Like, this is, it's just left over from, from the 90s, and I I don't know, that space could just be so much better used for like, I don't even know, community services of some kind, like register to vote, or like turn it into a school, or uh, some like, people, <laughs> have you seen some people whose high schools are like malls? I like think they, they have started converting. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Oh, like, cool. yeah, I got yeah. Fifth period they got escalators. At, fifth period at Macy's. <laughs> <laughs> they have so escalators cool. at their school. Yes, yeah. yes, cool. it's it's crazy. The 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 clips of uh, how Wait, it's all laid out. Wait, I want to see out. that too. It's, yeah, what? I feel like um for me, movie theaters go hand in hand with hmm. malls. Oh, interesting. You can live without movie theaters. Yeah, I could also live really? without movie theaters. Really? No, I love a good theater. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Checked off the list. You don't like going to the movies? Not anymore. I wish there were tons of small ones everywhere rather than like these big megaplexes. I know, it's so hard to get a ticket now. To oh, like, really? Like when you, because you also have to pick your seat now with every movie you want to oh, go see. Oh, that's right. You and were saying you have to pay like. Isn't like the pricing tiered now too? You were saying that is coming. I don't think they've announced they've they've announced it, but they haven't like implemented it. But even still, like I wanted to see Super Mario Brothers movie, and it's Mario. like you you have to look at for nine different theaters and times because a week in advance, every good ticket is bought. I feel like it's always kind of been like that with new movies, like new big ones. I think there used to be maybe more theaters or more screens. It just oh. feels like nowadays it's really tough to get a good seat mm. in a movie theater. Pop. Popcorn should just be fucking free. <laughs> it's just kernels yeah. popped, and you're gonna charge me over ten dollars. Yeah, it. I mean, piss yeah, off. Yeah, but that's how they make their money. They don't yeah. make the money off the ticket sales. No. The ticket sales have to go to the. Give me a, a, a membership or something. They where, do have uh, memberships. Yes, I think concessions should be included in that, mm -hmm. guaranteed. Yeah, mm. or like the movie ticket. Yeah, I do wish they had know. better food in movie theaters. Like, it's just garbage. It's but some of them, like I pick, they have nice food. Do they? I don't even think that food is that good, to yeah. be honest. Alamo Compared Draft to, like, House is pretty good. Alamo Draft House is great. I've That's never like, been there. Some people hate hardcore dining like theaters because then you're eating and you hear everyone like, like while uh, the movie's going on. Wow, so if movie theaters disappeared, you guys would not miss them. I guess I'd no. miss them. Yeah. Um, I don't Care. think I would. I, I don't, don't really ever go. Like, the only time so I go sick. is the last time I've been there. Years. And you see Nicole Kidman and everyone starts clapping? You know that? Watch it on TikTok. <laughs> I've seen it on the interwebs. <laughs> I think I saw a movie with that, yeah. But the wow. only time I go is if like someone I'm with is like, I really want. I'm like, okay, that's fine. But I, I would never choose or, like, myself. seeing something in IMAX is so sick. Mm. Well, yeah, I'd maybe keep IMAX or like... uh. What are those ones that like the chairs move? Oh, 40X. I've never seen one of those. I feel like that would be fun. Oh, you, you should go. I've used 40X seen is like, you can't, you have to go. It will always be memorable and you'll always like laugh about it that you did it, but you're not going to be like, we got to go back. To like, 40X. should I see Super Mario Brothers in 40X? If you want to, I'll go with you. I'll, I would I would do that with you. If you want to, <laughs> yeah. should we do it tonight? Shunk, 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 sure. like, no, oh my God. not tonight. I don't want to do anything tonight. Okay. <laughs> That's like, I'm done. I don't know, but I have Nezrin's birthday. But Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But. Do you have one? Um. Yeah, I said TikTok. You could do without TikTok. Yeah, if TikTok got banned, I'd be okay. Uh, I think it's. So you don't, you don't care about me at all. I just can't. I would be sad for just you. Just post them on Instagram. Vine went, <laughs> Vine went away. We, yeah. we still survived. Like, yeah, I, but I, we're, TikTok, I was already over Vine at that point. Like, I love TikTok, but, like, if it disappeared, I think I would be okay. Or I want it to go, like, full-on China. Like, what I mean? want... <laughs> I, <laughs> like, okay, what does that China? mean? China? Okay, this is going to be on Fox News soon. In China, there's, like, hours on when you can access it. For kids oh. and stuff, you're... Or, the it's not all just like junk, <laughs> uh, satisfying content. It's stuff that is like educational. I don't know if that's true. Pro huh? 
Okay, <laughs> you know this whole this whole idea that like the TikTok only promotes educational content to Chinese their Chinese kids and yes. like they have that was Andrew Schultz, the podcast guy, made that up on a podcast <laughs> one time, and that's how it spread. Is I, that true? Yes, I saw him on a podcast like a couple weeks ago, and he was like, "Yeah, dude, the media is fucking crazy." I literally just made this thing up about how Chinese TikTok pushes educational <laughs> oh content and puts limits on it. And he made that up in a podcast, and everyone just went with it. Oh my god! There's like no proof of that. Where is the proof of that? You're telling me that like the CEO when he just testified, did he say for that Congress? They didn't touch on that at all. I don't I know. That was a big conversation point about. I it. don't know, but I saw Andrew. Maybe Schultz Andrew Schultz and was I, there. <laughs> and I'm like that. That actually makes so much sense about how people just think about things. Is you just make something up and has anyone confirmed that? I, I haven't looked it up beyond this, mm. but I, I like I ask people, where did you hear that? And it's like, oh, I just heard that that's what they do. And then Andrew Schultz is like, yeah, that's what everyone says. I fucking made it up. <laughs> that That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> if that's true. I didn't even know that, to be honest. I, yeah. That I was like a bit. Yeah, it was like a contention of like, well, in our in America, they just push like dancing and yeah. dumb things. And in <laughs> China, they are only promoting educational content to their. Mm. You know what I could live without? Y'all may hate me. But I could live <laughs> I could live without Tesla. I think that ele I think I'm all for electric cars. I think every fucking company out there should be making electric cars as good as Tesla's. Tesla is like leading the game in it, I understand. I think the body of the car could just be more interesting, should have more personality. I think there's so many of them and everyone's doing it because the competition isn't there. I just wish there was a world where all the car companies had their own electric cars that were built safe, were built smart. Instead of Tesla's, like the, it seems like it's the only option it is right for now, right now for electric cars. For the next few years, every company will have their electric yeah, car. Yeah, I feel like they're getting like really good too. You're also so talking like about Audi has one. That's what I just said, though, right? Didn't I just phrase it in the beginning? Y'all may hate me for this. I don't oh, no. hate you. We don't no. hate you. No, okay. I'm I mean, sorry. I don't think that's a bad take. I don't really. It, it's I, fair. I guess I don't understand. So you would. He's just sick of seeing them everywhere. Got yeah, it. I'm. I'm kind of sick of seeing them everywhere, and I just feel like. I mean, being in them is cool. I think so many of my friends have them. I think the shape is just like, it's a car. It's an ugly car. Just say you're jealous you don't have one. No, I, I consider <laughs> getting one so much more expensive than like mine. I love yeah. the body shape of my car. If it I was could electric, live without Matt's car. If Tesla made the shape and color of my Matt. car, I, <laughs> that's like the Rivian. I could is live be like without that. Matt polluting the environment in his giant <laughs> car. <laughs> Sorry, baby. It's America. Um, Capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> I just. Hell yes, I, I think Elon am. Musk is cool. I know Tesla. No, he's oh, not. That's the weird take. In that yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> no, he, I can do without Elon yeah, Musk. Yeah, yeah. Elon Musk, I'm, I'm saying it's just like a, a a ground shaker of things, you know. He was Disru a, dis a disruptor. He was, and then he I got a little too big for his britches, and now he's a fucking <laughs> cuck. Okay, he's a fucking loser. <laughs> well, I take that back. Okay, the thing I like about Tesla. Correct me if I'm wrong. Sure. Sam driving to Vegas. Wrong. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Anyways. Sorry. No, Sam driving to Vegas. I know that there's stopping points I can go to yes. that will charge my car very quickly and I can get on my merry way. If I had a different electric car, is that a, is that an option? Can I go somewhere that'll charge in 20, 30 minutes? Yeah. But to put this very shortly, Tesla does have the best infrastructure, the superchargers, and other companies have tried to make their own. The government has tried to make its version called Electrify America, which fucking sucks. They never work. They're in way less places. But Tesla has started opening up their superchargers to other cars. Oh, like a, so a converter? Yes. Okay, built, that's awesome. Yes. So that will help. Slay. But yeah. here's, here's the thing Tesla. about yeah. Tesla's mission, and this is the only thing I will say in support of Tesla, because Elon is a fucking psycho loser, dumb dumb. But their mission, as stated on their website, since their inception, like you would think their mission is to like sell a bunch of electric cars or make a bunch, whatever. Their mission has always been to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. The way that they do that is they make electric cars really cool. They sell a bunch of electric cars. And I think because they've made Tesla's such a good car, every other company is like, well, fuck, we need to now do electric. So they have succeeded in their mission. And I, I agree. It's like, yeah, let's get some competition now. They they did their job. Electric cars are cool. Like everyone wants them. But Tesla's are not the best in the world anymore like they used to be. But I agree. Oh, cool. And Elon Musk. Fucking just go away. He fucking ruined Twitter. <laughs> go away. He's always trying to. I, he, I'm so over him. I know, but I it's like cool Tesla. living in like the the time of Elon Musk. 
he's just like a rich kid who's like pretty good at business got really smart about he's not even the one who like thought of tesla right? no he didn't invent. Yeah. he he it was like somebody else he paid money to yeah. the two founders to buy his spot as a co-founder of tesla yeah he's just like a whiny rich kid but interesting he, yeah anyway and he supports kanye west and a lot of terrible things yeah my nail just broke. Speaking of... <laughs> no, no. Why did this bro- like... break on podcast? I don't know. And this is my real nail. Did you see my no, broken I Connor? Love, I love the nails. They're like very xenon. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Thank you. Wait, did you see my Brooke and Connor found your nail? No. Oh my God. I thought you had seen it because... Wait, bro- they found my okay, nail? Okay, so we did TK's podcast like... I don't know, months ago, <laughs> and your nail came off, and I saw it, it was, like, recommended, and so I was, like, going through the comments, see if anyone, like, hated us or something, and somebody commented, like, this makes so much sense, because in Brooke and Connor's episode, Connor finds your nail, <laughs> and when he finds it, um, she's like, oh, that's Aaron Gilfoy's nail, and Brooke's like, oh, should I send it to her? So I thought maybe she had, like, sent no, it to her and no about it. No, one shared it with me. That's that's I have it screen so recorded, I'll show funny. it to oh, you. perfect. Yeah. But perfect. Perfect. Wow. Wow. Yeah. But that's when I had fake nails. This is my real one, and it this is not good. Those are real. Yeah. Holy fuck, they're oh, long. Wait, your real <laughs> nails about to come off? Yeah. Look. Stop. Let me see. Wait. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like I, right the... at the seam. <laughs> right like, at the root. Like, not the whole nail. No, no, no. Not like you no, hammered no. it. Like right here. Oh. So, like, it would still hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, all right. Let's Especially be gentle. Especially because there's like gel on top of it, so she's thick. Yeah. 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 Ooh, thick with uh, three C's. Blah, blah, blah. She she do be dummy thick. Who's a, are you next? Matt's like next. He just said, right, Tesla. He said Tesla. Tesla. Oh, okay. Oh, I have one that could be controversial. Okay. What are you checking for on your phone again? I'm literally. I just have my front <laughs> door open, projecting. and I went to this. I so just, that I, no, I feel look. I even I I feel just so self conscious. No, you're fine. See, <laughs> self conscious. <laughs> yeah. Um, alcohol. Oh, I thought about this one. I thought about alcohol and drugs. Yeah, I think I could do it. Wait. If like another prohibition happened. <laughs> oh God. If just, alcohol every it, it disappears like, yeah. for everybody. Yes. I kind of agree with you. I think you. I could do it. I think it would be much better for society. Ugh, it's so much sure. it's so bad, like truly so bad. It's yeah. literally poison. And I don't just, know if I could live without it. The amount of people, it's a fucking great time though. Like I just love a glass of wine. <laughs> but you the know amount what I mean? of people have that like, like a, f- a fake one. Or just but like, I like yeah, the little buzz. Little I know. No, I me too. That's yeah. why I like a little buzz. <laughs> I know. I I do. <laughs> Who needs wine when you got bars? But I think it's one of those <laughs> things that it's like if it just went away and you didn't have it, then I you wouldn't like think about it. Yeah. I mean I've had probably I've had Three nights in all of 2023 that I've drank. That's really? It. Yeah. Oh, Damn. wow. 2020? This year. 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. 2023. Boring. I was like, oh, no, I wish dude. I only had three drinks in 2020. <laughs> I know. Um, I'm just like, I wish I, yeah, the hangovers are just not worth it. I think it. it's also easy for us to say as all being over the age of 30, like if we were 21, yeah, yeah, this would yeah. sound insane. insane. No, 100%. But I don't know. But I think like. Isn't it, there is like a movement better of, for me if I was 20. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I kind of agree with you. It's like, yeah. it doesn't really. Yeah. It, it's not that great. It's kind of great. I but love I can do it. It is great. But I'm saying society at large, like the amount of like abuse no, and like fights and car crashes yeah. Yeah. and broken families and like. Yeah, it's just fucking so destructive to so many people. I know. And it's crazy. I know this is like such a talked about topic that like weed is illegal a lot of places but mm. it literally is so not as bad for you as alcohol yeah no at all. and you can get baked out of your weed. mind going to bed and you wake up fine yeah. yeah but like if i'm like high and i'm hanging around people i'm just like <laughs> having a full-on anxiety well, so it's well, a different yeah. drinking you're yeah. just like we yeah. are good i mean <laughs> i agree with you just... i, I yeah, like a social s- drink for some sure some people do though like that is their alcohol like they can function i don't know fucking how yeah but... nolan I, yeah. yeah yeah he's like I perfectly fine i'm at parties and i see people hitting weed i'm like how are you doing i don't that know right now? i wish i i really wish i could i feel like i would be a lot calmer maybe if you were younger i was fine when i was younger True. Yeah, i was crossfading up all <laughs> night crossfading <laughs> wow <laughs> crossfaded um that's a good one i have thank one you. matt do you think you could live without alcohol oh, i have a big one. Oh boy i'm scared I, if, these if, are, these if, are really scary nobody, already <laughs> if nobody else uh could drink then yeah i could um, and I'll be honest, like since turning 30, I don't, I'm not like always looking forward to drinking. Right. I stopped looking forward to it a lot. I just realized it's like the thing to do and it makes like a day like more fun because mm-hmm. I have such a fun time. Do you ever just like have drinking. a beer at home? 
No. Oh. No, he never like, drinks like alone or just like I'll oh. have a beer with dinner. I love drinking wine alone. Yeah, I have like yeah. a I had we had like a Guinness the other night. TJ and I just like Ooh. poured a Guinness and split it. But that's because the housewives were in Ireland and we were really <laughs> <laughs> But I was like, that looks good. I would like yeah. to drink that right now. I also don't get hung over really that much. That's offensive wow. to me. Yeah, like, that's I insane. Can, when I, I wake up hungover, you only drink beer, right? I only, yeah, I really I only like drink beer unless why. there's like some margaritas. I'll start with, <laughs> I'll have a Margarita. couple of those. I can drink a ton and I can rebound fine. That's I'm just insane. mostly exhausted, but I'm not like... Some pe people who are hungover, they're like, oh my God. That's me. Oh, I yeah. can't I'm like, give me the epidural. Yeah, that's me every time. I can go out. Every time you drink? It's the worst. Even after like one drink? No, not one oh. drink. But if I have like four beers, I'm a wreck the next day. Oh, wow. It's bad. It sucks. Yeah. It's... You know what? Maybe I can't live without drinking. Because <laughs> <laughs> actually, I think it's one of like the best fucking things in the world. Like, really? Ooh. That's... Not no, like in no, the world. You got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is nice for like a first date where it's like, okay, my nerves are a little bit. When you're catching up with old friends and you're having like some drinks, yeah. it is. Oh, of course. It's pure bliss. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Burt Kreischer in that like whole rant Ecstasy. he has. Ecstasy. But I know there's healthier ways to do it. Mm, I can. I can live without it. But just there's have been great times. You can, but you don't want to. Yeah. I you don't know what want I can to. live without? Fucking Erwan. <laughs> oh. get, it, get it away from me. But I feel really? like you don't like Erwan. Huh? But I feel like you don't really that, like it in Yeah, general. so I could do without it. Oh, okay. I mean, it, I get the hype. Is there I guess. in other states or is I this just an only, LA thing? No, it's only Los Angeles. Yeah. It's only California. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, once you're able to like afford it like we can. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bitch, I could afford it. Once you get a membership I'm, and you get that 10% The thing discount. is, I would never want to spend that much money on fucking groceries. Like, I don't want to. It's also, it's just like how compact it is and the it's parking just like, lot always uh, sucks it's i just hate everything about it. I'm single sorry. lanes everything down the about aisles it. too you can't there's no Ugh. you can't have two like, people in the same aisle make yeah. it like a fucking kroger like make it big i also dislike the just the vibe like when you when you're there and you just see all like the influencer kids sitting outside in their oh. leggings and you're like okay who do you think you <laughs> yes. are people think they are so yes fucking cool they all at air one uh, it's so uninviting. And I feel like I can That's say how I that feel. now. I feel that like it's I've, very uninviting. That's how I feel, I feel inside like I of Air One. Say that now, sometime. Now that like we've lived in LA for nearly ten years. We and we're in our like early thirties. We can look at some people and be like, they are full of shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. In, uh, LA. Or I used to always feel like I was like in LA, I'm like, well, they're really cool. Oh, they're I really know exactly cool. what you now mean. Now I'm like, like now I'm like it. comfortable enough where I'm like, ugh. Yeah. Uh, you people like You're a liar. You, think you, guys <laughs> you are, people. Yeah. I yeah. say that like in a funny way. Like, I, if I, there, I go to, there's the Roberta's, the pizza place, Love and there's them. a sugar fish in the same. Yeah. What's Roberta's? Oh, the that's a really good pizza best place. pizza oh you can get in Los Angeles. What are you talking? I've never heard about this. Roberta's is it's a, a New York based. Yeah. I, so when somewhere. I used to live in Brooklyn, there was Roberta's right next it's to my so house. Yum, yum. One of the best pizza places like in America. Is, is it in, one by in our place? America? Roberta's? Yeah, it's like a classic Brooklyn Over Domino's? Pizza. Over Papa yeah. John? <laughs> Papa I don't think so. Okay, I think I like my opinion. pizza a little thicker, but um, Roberta's is really good. It's in the parking lot of Erewhon. There's in the back Roberta's Pizza. It's unbelievable. Uh, and it's, there's a free people movement. I, lo I like the plaza. I won't lie. I yeah, really the like the plaza. But like, you have to pass the Erewhon to get there. And yeah, they have like all, all the tables from, outside. No, just go from the other side. The yeah. other side. There's an entrance. Yeah, park is, in the back and then yeah, you'll that never is look so at it. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. So sorry. Um, no but anyway, there's all the like, tables outside. You can get the Erewhon hot bar and there's people sitting outside. And every time... I just, I'm, I'm this rage inside of me that comes out where I'm like, these people are only here because they want to be seen at Erewhon. They want to look cool. They want to feel exclusive. They want to feel like they're rich LA kids. And I'm just like, I just don't want to even look at you. I hate it. <laughs> I'm so with you. Yeah. Sorry, that was... Not a big Erewhon fan. I even didn't I like mean... it like when we never went, like when there was only one in West Hollywood or by the Grove. The first time I went in there, I was like, I hate this place. I had no knowledge about it either. I they didn't even know water. it was expensive. I didn't know anything. I was There's just like, a water I hate this. They sell it's twelve dollars for like, a bottle of water. They have a bag there that's one hundred and forty. Get a tote bag over yourself. A tote bag for one hundred and forty dollars, yes. like mm -hmm. Erewhon branded. Yes, yep. it's basically just spitting in your face and calling you poor. <laughs> like, and every what do you mean? if you see something like Smart Sweets, which you know we love, they're literally just double the price there. It's five dollars per Smart Sweet. I can't. I it can't. doesn't make any sense. It just Why makes do me people so go mad? There? Yeah, I just but if you didn't want to make sponsor it indifferent. Us. <laughs> I don't really care about it if it went away.
I air on, I I would fully I want it to go that. away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a really good one. Thank you. Aaron, you said you had a um a big one. Yeah, Amazon. I could oh. live without Amazon. But oh, every time at your house you have ten packages. Not me. TJ. TJ would die without he would combust. I, I would was, also combust. Would perish. I was thinking about saying Amazon, but I, I do love it. it. I just wish everything was on Amazon. In terms, it is. <laughs> in terms what of is what is not on Amazon. I well, I think there's sometimes like a certain brand will have their product on their site. Like they don't let Amazon have access to everything on it. Yeah. I love how fast Amazon shows up and I like yeah. how they deliver it and I like their return policy too. Yeah. Where you can do it. Sometimes with other places and the I'm reviews. just like there's so many reviews on like everything. Yeah. There's I, also a lot of junk on Amazon and I wish they would yeah. crack down the drop shipping stuff. Because yeah. I sometimes I think I'm about to buy a product and I'm like, wait, this is just somebody faking the hype of this yeah and it, you can get really scary dupes of like skincare or yeah yeah something. anything branded i would say it's always better to buy from the brand itself than amazon even if it takes an extra two days to ship yeah. it's yeah. usually cheaper from the actual brand and they'll it's you always get that pop-up 10 percent off your email so then it's the same price as amazon. and you know it's real and you know it's yeah. real i would never buy anything like consumable what do you from mean? amazon this, what is this fake stuff on amazon y'all are like talking if about? i wanted um uh, like a goop. Rare beauty. Yeah. yeah, like rare beauty uh blush or something. If I looked it up on Amazon, it would look like it and it would say rare beauty, but it would be like not from fake, yeah. yeah. But you can confirm on Amazon, you can see who is set selling it and it could be rare beauty and then you know it's real. Like I bought right. But there are sellers bought, for like yeah. Yeah. Go so, ahead, what'd you say? You bought say, I bought lots like, of people sell stuff on Amazon. Like people have created whole businesses doing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, dear. what's crazy? The book game. Like Stephen King, <laughs> there is someone on Amazon who just spells his name differently. It spells it the other version of Stephen and has all these books there. And people keep buying the books thinking that they're a new Stephen like King he, book. Like he, he is <laughs> writing, writing books. Yeah, Stephen like King spells his S-T-P-H-E-N. S -T -P -H -E -N. Right. Another guy goes on there and does S-T-E-V-E-N. And so people will be like, oh, new Stephen King book. Gotta buy that's it. Funny. It's the other Stephen King. And everyone's like, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Yeah. I could do without the fashion industry and just like fashion. I feel like these are not things that you guys even care about. Yeah, that's why I could live without it. But but it's not I care about it. It's like most people care most about people it. Most people care about it. That's the whole point of it. Okay. Shit. For me, I took it the assignment as like big things in my life that I could do without. Oh, I thought it's like society. Like uh, I see. Like now we I understand up, the complaining aspect of yes. the episode. If New York Fashion Week didn't exist and like fashion shows, I'm just like, what are we doing here, guys? This is makes no sense to me fashion like trends and like when you see on tiktok okay here's what you need to get for fall 2023 if you're a guy and you want to look hot why no i don't <laughs> it's style it's, it's wardrobe but that, it's, like this it's just like people's hobby it's basically just like a hobby that got big it'd be like someone making fun of you for like your nerd stuff that you like <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> it's the times it's literally just like a, a hobby that is big it's like when they do car shows for like tesla and like those weird things i just think fashion is just such bullshit it's just people making up oh uh baggies in no baggies out why who does who decided what is the society what, there's no there's no realistic like it's, reason for yeah. it but well, look at all of like culture over the times fashion <laughs> illustrates the the passing of time and the movement of culture but, you, but when you look when you think of the 70s in your mind you can think of what people were wearing during the time the 60s all er, every fucking decade is illustrated by what people wear. There's a beauty of how we make sense of time and art and culture. That's the beauty of time passing, is all of that. If we all wore the exact same thing every day, how mundane would the, the passage of time look? And where we get inspirations from? Like, I don't know, in a way, like it has to exist. There's a beauty into it. It's art is what people are wearing. Yes, it gets silly where someone's like, baggy pants are out, short pants are in. That's if you want to play the game of trend. That's where things get silly. That's why I love classic fashion where something can be truly timeless. But there's a beauty to it. Mike. That was, really, that was well spoken, Matt. Yeah. Good job. That well, was like that. a speech and debate. Yeah, that was right. I don't know. I just had to be like, 
because that's how I see it, but I know it is silly. Uh, in that sense, the art of it, I get. I think maybe you're right. You nailed it with the word trend. Like that, like fashion trends are just like, I am just so sick of it. Just but that's like not really what they're, well, I guess it, a part of it is at Fashion Week, but a lot of the Fashion Week clothes are like. It's just absurd. Couture. Like it's not, it's like runway. Yeah, but Which why? Is like what, the what are we art. doing it's here? Like, why this is, is that? the artist's collection of like what they've created, and a lot of it, like most people can't buy or afford. It's like high end art. Yeah, I don't get it. What? What's the? What are we getting from this? People. What's are, the value? <laughs> why does there have to be? People just get like enjoyment. They like style. They like clothing. But it seems just like it's all very like pretentious, and we look down on people, and like you're oh, you no. know. That's that's what I get from the art world or the fashion world is like people are very snooty and like Anna Wintour and the Met Gala and like all this shit is just it just makes me like what are we doing here guys? Yeah, it's just art. It's just art. It's people are making movies all the time. What are we doing there? Movies are entertaining. We're telling stories. So We're having clothes. characters. Yeah. Fashion. Fashion's entertaining. What's the for story? Some people. You can't afford this crazy red dress. So you don't like our fashion reviews? No, I like <laughs> I like doing them. <laughs> Because I think it's silly. That's but we my... wouldn't be able to do them if it didn't exist. Okay, I, this is an extreme. I'm not sure. <laughs> Get out. Okay, I have, I have an opinion. I feel sure. like Aaron talked about Amazon. I um, added on to it. But mine, this is one thing I could live without. And it is a little trendy. And it's art. I don't care for house music these days. Standard <laughs> these days. house. <laughs> Wait, house music? Oh, like, 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 like. I like garage house. I like, there's certain, <laughs> there's, there's levels of, there's a levels of EDM that I think are actually good. Standard, um, uh, like clubhouse, like where you walk into like restaurants now and it's this boom, boom. It's, it's. It's the most simple baseline, but very boring. Like it's for music or people who are truly strung out on like on Molly. Yeah. Like I get sometimes there's occasions where you play that, but everyone's playing it now at these events and stuff because they think that it's cool and that's what people want to listen to. But I feel like it creates a terrible energy and atmosphere into a room. I do agree with you. Yes. House music as the standard backdrop for like an event or a restaurant or yes. a conference is just like it's just not <laughs> it's like great. I've never been in a restaurant where house music is playing. You ever been to like a sushi restaurant and it's just no. It's just it's, just, it's the most minimal house yeah. music ever. It's like elevator music and it drives me insane. It's kind of like white noise because I'm not I'm not enjoying. I think uh, um. Ambiance is so important in yes. spaces. Yes. And especially when you're eating or uh, gathering with people, sometimes they play this fucking house music and you're like, this makes it seem like this is a dark environment, that this isn't like fun and that a club. it just, I, it drives me nuts. And I know that this is just an early 2020s thing that's happening, Yeah, but I cannot wait for it to end because in the mid to in like 2010s, we were having like such a fun time with EDM. You had Cascade, Avicii, <laughs> all these like Swedish house mafia. It was the happiest time in pop music, or especially the tropical EDM house, ever. Yeah. Kygo, tropical house, great moment in time. Yeah. Fred again though, I'll say, is bringing a great revival to house music. He touches on a bit more like soul, soul, not soulful, but like soul. You feel like there's humanity. Like, there's a human behind the beat. I. I just sometimes I'm like, get rid of this stuff. Yes, the music. Let's move on. I'm I'm with you. Shake the dust. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. That's two. That's two good passionate speeches, Matt. <laughs> oh, that's what I could live without. I'm ready for that to end. I think I could live without Instagram. No. I don't really. No. I'm not like enjoying Instagram that much. I think I could live without any social media. Like if it just all went away, I'd be like, okay, whatever. That sucks. But I, I love Instagram. Did I say this on a podcast where I think, and this is like us as influencers, this sounds like a point of weird privilege uh -huh. because we're friends with a lot of influencers. Yeah, you said it last it's episode. Oh, it's exhausting. Oh, like our pro it's yeah. just exhausting. I just yeah. wish all my friends. You got to hit mute on people. Yeah, I we guess had this so. conversation, and then I was like, just. Unfollow, unfollow them. Yeah, no, can't do that. No. Uh, you don't like Instagram? I mean, I, I, it's, I like it, but I could do without it. I just like that it's when you, it's kind of, to me, it's more like LinkedIn than a social media. Like if you want to, <laughs> exactly, you meet I someone mean. at a party and you're like, you don't want to give a phone number or like, an, you oh. know, it's, it's like a, it's like a Facebook thing. It's, you just, you can get a little I bit of a glimpse that. of who they are. You can message them if you want, kind of like keep up with people. I like stories that you can like keep up with people's days. I think it's a great feature. The feed is kind of 
over like who cares yeah what you're you it's know. also nice because i feel like it with the stories and everything it's a great way to keep in contact with people who you don't necessarily see all the time that's i love so you that. like still feel like you have like an understanding of what they're doing but also at the same time if it went away then you'd be more likely to keep in contact with yeah. the people who are like important to you that you feel like you don't have to because you like know what they're doing all but the like time. if i let's say like went to you know or for this this summer when I'm going to go to like Italy or not Italy, uh, Spain and, and Ireland, I'll be posting stories and people like you guys, we can like talk like Matt will be like, oh, my God, you got to go to this place because I'm posting it on Instagram. Sure. If we didn't have that, what am I going to text everyone I know? I'm at the Dublin brewery today. Yeah. Any any recommendations? So like 150 people that <laughs> I'm friends square. with. Yeah. Like, Four square. Oh my God. Any, any tips? That's yeah. a, I do like that you get the. You get to like have more conversations with people that you wouldn't normally have. Mm, sure. From yeah. Instagram stories. No, yeah, I mean messages. I like that too. But there should be just a stories app. That would be cool. No feed. Just... Isn't that what Snapchat is kind of? Mm. Yeah, but Snapchat I feel like is more one to one. It's not as like broadcasting. Well, stories though. Yeah, I don't. Maybe. I don't know. It doesn't do seem as interactive, it. but I can do it without Twitter. That shit is garbage. I mean, yeah. I feel like that one's obvious. That one's I don't even open it. Insane. I haven't had access to my Twitter since November. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really Elon crazy. took it away from you. I could do, also do without, and something I use sometimes is organic toothpaste. Just not a big fan. It's never oh. that minty. Organic toothpaste? Yeah, I'm just not a big, like <laughs> Tom's. Yeah. What about Sensodyne? That's, that's organic? organic? No, it's not. That's no. what I'm using right I now. Like to, I like Sensodyne because it doesn't have sodium lauryl sulfate, and that's what causes, like, canker sores. Oh, I mean, Whoa. I don't know. But sometimes Nolan will come up with, like, an organic one, and I'm like, ugh. Me, personally, I could do without tampons. I just never found them. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm going to free bleed. <laughs> I've never no. had to use one, so I could. Just, I feel like I'd just do without those. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't know how to use one, so. Yes, I do. Yeah, you kind of do. Do we... Decimal system? Do, the do, do we could do without him. I'm just gonna look on Amazon for a book. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, I thought this one was funny. Old men in Congress. Oh, mm. I mean, a hundred percent. Um, this person said a pillow and blanket, what? which Whoa. I think is like so unhinged. That's unhinged. I'm sorry. What? They just That's... raw dog. No, yeah, no, they everywhere. were. Yeah, they were like, I literally just like, I'm a girl that can fall asleep anywhere, like sleep on the floor, hardwood floor. Okay, which one could you do without more, the pillow or the blanket? Oh, I oh. don't know. The you pillow? Take one away. Can I make something else a pillow? Or no, no. The weight, no. The weight, Could I make can I the a blanket weight? a pillow? Is the weight? Yeah, yeah if I was you saying. get the blanket, I mean, you can bunch it up, but like, that's it's what I mean. A it's regular size blanket. Probably, a, probably a blanket. I'd have to keep. It's the. Can the blanket be the weighted blanket? Sure. Okay, then I get rid of the pillow. I have to have like some part of my body covered when I sleep. On top of you. Mm hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you're like pulling up the rug, you know, it's like, no, oh, hey, you're you're got some real blankets, yeah. it's like you have a, a, a no, door. No, like, literally. <laughs> I just feel she like I'm not, <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> just like drills on drills the door. Sorry, TJ, blankets in the dryer, I need a door on top of what me tonight. You, like, when you sleep over your friends and they don't have blankets, is that what you're saying? Yeah, like, just yeah, using yeah. random things around the house? <laughs> yeah. yeah get, get the gallon of milk from the fridge and just like DVDs. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the hand towel from the bathroom. It's like this big. Oh man, <laughs> really up funny. In the rug. Just... I ha I'd have to have a blankie. Yeah, blankie is necessary. Um, someone said in and out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I could live without it. I just wish the menu had some more options. Yeah, like a like a water burger. I, I just think wish. That, I like that it has minimal options. Yeah, I guess so. No but analysis. I, just, but paralysis. I, don't know. I wish yeah. like they had like a and, like, sauce. The menu I wish item? they had a sauce 2.0 at In and Out or something that was just like 2.0. Because it's like Thousand Island dressing, but like Love. cane sauce, you're like, I'm pulling over for that <laughs> shit. Like, I've still In and Out, I'm like, canes. I know what it tastes like. I can move on. I just wish there was something I would just drop my panties oh, for. In and Out is so good. I love In and Out, but I could live without it. And Shake Shack too. Yum. Shake Shack has like the perfect burger in my opinion. I love Shake Shack. It's like the perfect perfect fast food burger. Oh. I wish there was a drive through Taco for Shake Shack. Too. Shake Shacks are always I like know. in cool spots where I have to like be around a shit ton of people. <laughs> yeah. I want my own little private Shake Shack. I, know. I love Shake Shack. <laughs> um, we have had our private Shake Shacks. <laughs> like after, I don't know, I remember David would have it like catered sometimes. Oh yes. Stuff. Um, talking shit. Someone oh, could live without. I could not live without that. Me neither. 
That's such oh, a fun bonding. The two thing. of you, yeah, yeah. Talking Gossip shit. queens. Gossip. The three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring. <laughs> God, bring the in the cauldron of the cauldron of tea. Aaron's, Aaron's at the back. So call, <laughs> Let's talk shit. <laughs> I love it. Um, I love the gossip. Okay. Someone said, oh, sorry. I was going to ask. Okay, so Claudia's talked about this on the toast, and I wanted people's perspective on this. Is it gossip if you're talking about something that really happened, or is or is that just like spreading information? No, that's I think still it's gossip. gossip. You gossip think it's gossip? Is, yeah. Oh, yeah. did you hear that she got divorced? Yeah. And they're, they're okay. keeping, yeah, that's yeah, gossip. Yeah. Okay, for sure. I agree with that. I just wasn't sure. What did sure. she say? I can't remember. I think she's like, well, technically it's not. It's just like talking about information, but if gossip is like, did you see what she was wearing? Like that was so ugly. Blah, I feel blah, like blah. that's more talking shit. Yes. I oh, think, okay. So talking shit like and gossip. gossiping about how you think like someone's doing. So that's gossip. talking shit. Yeah. That's talking shit. Go- yeah, I think- that's talking Can shit. Can we give an example? Like oh, <laughs> <laughs> the branches of gossip. I don't know. He's trying to think of someone he can say. On here. Yeah. yeah, but I feel like it's too. Well, don't say a specific. No, just like person. say a, like a sentence of what you. Yeah. What, would what's mean. the specific? Like I think this person like, could be doing I more. I don't think, or just be like, I just like two friends. You're like, I don't think that they're doing very well. Like they're not. Like in what sense? I don't know. I feel like she just doesn't like, or she doesn't really like her. They're just like they're not like becoming friends anymore. They're definitely not hanging out. There must have been a falling out of some sort, don't you think? Is this gossip? This is gossiping. Um, I guess. We're, yeah. We're, I feel like that's teetering spe- on. I think it's like a mix of yeah. the two. Yes. It's teetering on gossip and like just. If there questioning. was a Venn diagram, yes, <laughs> talking shit would be in the middle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, are you, who are you talking about? I'm not. I'm not. Oh, okay, I was coming. Okay. I was coming up with like that's a like that was like scenario. real realistic scenario. Yeah. It sounded like you were talking about two people that I could envision. Because I feel like sometimes that's where like most of my gossiping is. But what? Just like, okay. But what if I came to you and I was like, these are made up people that we're friends with. Okay. Yeah. Did you Did you know that Sarah and John are getting divorced? Like I don't think that's really gossip. That I know, like, is that's just gossip. Like, if it's secretive that and not public tea. yet, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. no, if it's if it not that it's secret. Like, I if, think the way that you're saying it is more like you're you're like, oh, I didn't know that that was happening. But then yeah. if you were like, oh my god, like I know, and you start so like the way, having yeah. the conversation like, about and it, she's then you're refusing to move out. Yeah, and she's not going to yeah, sign okay. the papers. Okay, yeah. Gossip though is like when you put it out there, it's out there. Like you're. Unless you both have already you know. Seen, have you ever seen the opening? Yeah. You're not the deliverer. Have you, have you ever seen yeah. the, Your hands are clean. All right, cool. Have you ever seen the opening of Doubt? Have you ever seen that movie Doubt with Mm-mm. Philip Seymour Hoffman? No, I He's the priest that. and he has that sermon and he says, they say like he told one of, oh, there's this old like story or sermon or like uh, a person told another person to go up on a roof and uh, open up a pillow, like stab it open and then come back and tell me what happened. He comes down and he goes, there's feathers everywhere. And he goes, now I want you to go and like pick up all of those feathers. And he's like, that's impossible. And he's like, well, that's gossip. No. Huh? <laughs> Isn't that what he says in doubt? I don't know. I just don't know. None of us have seen it. <laughs> I'm too dumb to know. I, I kind of get what you're saying. It's an old story of just saying like once you gossip, the feathers go everywhere. You can't put the you toothpaste can't, can't, back in the tooth. Oh, especially yeah, not the organic that, toothpaste. Oh, yeah. Don't even that try. Is shit. That shit is no man involved. Spilling. Um, turkey on Thanksgiving. Yes, I could live without. I it. could live without that. I Abs, definitely could. Th- that is what makes a Thanksgiving. A ham, no. a big fucking turkey. Can your dad's have... yelling about it's not cooked. A good I gotta ham. Carve it. A good ham. Can we just have this? I would like this turkey skin, but no, not the turkey. Oh, <laughs> oh I know what you mean. Yeah. I Roll up the, the visual like of the turkey is what makes a just Thanksgiving. Pr- take print out a piece of paper with the picture <laughs> of it. Three D print it. Set it out. Yeah, I think I could. If there was like if a tur- up, if there was a turkey shortage, Mike, and they're like, we have to stop killing them for Thanksgiving, I'd be like, okay, I get it. Oh no, I'm buying a turkey. No, Mike Fuck the shortage. No, but they you would. Don't all, eat, you'd you have to kill meat. it yourself. You also don't eat meat that often, yeah. so you're probably very like, we're oh, yeah. having a turkey. <laughs> yeah. I get to eat it. I would eat. I like rotisserie chicken on Thanksgiving. Like I'd eat that. We actually did that one year. So yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get it. I think it's like it's such a staple. Yeah, I would I would be so upset if I showed up to Thanksgiving and it was like, well, here's all the food. Where where's the big turkey? I don't smell it. I want to see it. I want to like look at it. Yeah. Oh no. Looking into dead eyes. Um, FaceTime. <laughs> oh. Huh. Sometimes mm, FaceTime. I'm a little like, what are we doing here? <laughs> What do you mean? (laughs) You didn't need to FaceTime. Oh, okay, okay. okay. It's like, hi, okay. Yeah. Uh, To me, when someone FaceTimes you without, I think I've said this before, but without like pre-telling. Yeah, or like without planning it, 
it's as if this person's trying to just jump in front of you <laughs> wherever you are I... in your life. Like if someone if if someone FaceTimes you right now, they're they're what they're saying is like, hey, I'm here. Hi. Yeah, and but I could like, just say decline. I know, I know, but then people get pissed when you decline them on FaceTime, and I'm like, you you're trying to FaceTime me in the middle of the day. You don't know what I'm doing. FaceTime's good for like a vibe check, like if it's uh, the, sat- like the morning it's after a, a party, morning when you're after hungover. a party, FaceTime or a little Friday before we're going out. How yes. you doing over there? Yes. All right, I'll meet you there. Get the FaceTime going. It's a vibe check. FaceTime for like stuff that's just exchange of information. Not necessary. Do you FaceTime your parents when you talk to them? No, mm, never. Not really. No. Yeah, yeah. Only I always feel FaceTime like we got we all we always got to get on this FaceTime call sometimes, and I'm like, I don't know. I wish that on FaceTime it could you could hide yourself. I feel like it's so distracting. Like turn that, the camera off. Yeah. Or just, just hide. No, that you can't see your own oh, reflection. Yeah, yeah. Like it's such a weird thing that you have you don't to be just stare at yourself. The whole yeah. time. That, but that's what I'm saying. That's what people do. Is they? I feel like people just look at themselves. But it's like why? What in in a normal conversation right now? I cannot see what I look yeah. like. Why yeah. do we do that on Facetime? It should just know. be a one way video. Like I shouldn't have to. Yeah, get on it. I Tim. I don't know if I. I mean, I could definitely live without it, but I really like it too. I, I like know. never use Facetime. Yeah, those are two good instances. A vibe check before a party and like the post morning, like how are we feeling today? Like, I'm, I want to show you something really fast. Like yes. I like that. Yeah. I, just, I, I take a picture. <laughs> and just send a little pic. Okay. Okay. No, well, yeah. No one's ever like. Never mind. I think FaceTime video should just be like fucking amazing. It is. Well, and someone's like, oh, look at this. No, wait. This thing's happening. It's always just like. <laughs> You're distorted yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah nothing's ever like crystal clear yeah. on someone's uh, their, yeah their other camera their other camera it's also nice if you're like like if i go somewhere and i'll like oh can you pick something up and mm. i don't know exactly what he wants so all i say i'm like which one and okay. then it's yes. really quick it's not like i have to send a video wait for it to send but yeah then... people you see at concerts who are facetiming their friend i mean you'll see the guy, you'll see the guy like, in bed who like guys there were so many people at taylor swift doing that Oh, and I was that like, would have been nice for me. I will say, like a song, but, yeah, but it's then fine. it's like you're you're then like ruining that whole part. Like everyone behind you, th- that is a little distracting, sure. But then it's like you should just be able to enjoy the show, like holding right. your phone the whole right. time, and you see the other person. They're always in bed, like laying yeah. down, and I'm like, what? yeah, yeah. What are we doing here, it's guys? They're depressed yeah. Because maybe they had their appendix out and they couldn't go. <laughs> okay, yeah, but you that one FaceTime me. You can like watch a- it on. Um, Tick, you watch it on TikTok Live. I know. I was just trying to be a victim. Have you ever met like a listener or whatever? Like, can you FaceTime? Or this is my best friend. And they're just, it's just in bed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's in the dark of some room. It's just like, oh, yeah. Just sleep. I do think it's sweet when some people do it for like a song. Like maybe it's their best friend's like favorite song. Sure. I think that's sweet. Yeah. If they couldn't go or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I also think like with Taylor too, it was like such a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> I think at Taylor, I would just assume it wouldn't work. But I, people are live streaming the whole thing, so I guess it does. Well, we're complaining a lot this episode. Yeah, whatever. Deal with it. It's the theme. Um, it's camp. Someone said... Stanley Cups. Ooh, I had that written down, actually. And Stanley I have, I have Cups. one. Wait, you're talking about for the NHL? <laughs> no. No, the no, water no, the, the water bottle. Oh. Yeah, every six months They're there's terrible. a new hawker or water bottle. They're terrible. It's well, straws it's... are gross. Straws? So reusable straws like, are gross. The, the people who have the straws in their Stanley Cups, or they have like this sippy water bottle. That's what bottles. I have, but I wash it out but like I, every other day. Because, okay, for me, I'm totally flattering myself. This is just a top. Easy to clean right there. The yeah. water, this, so easy to clean. Patricia, she is the one that's like this thing that's in there and it's the whole water bottle. That's what I have. Okay, do you ever look at like (laughs) sippy cups for babies, like the mold and stuff that you can Yeah, but I I literally clean mine out like every other day with like a. I don't trust all of humanity to be that good about like. (laughs) Well, that's all then. No, that was like like a huge thing on TikTok. People be like, I have to clean my straw. No, they were like, I've been drinking this for two years and they're they're like, I've been drinking mold. Yes. Yes. That's so disgusting. Like, why are we not cleaning our stuff? I think, okay, I don't. I don't agree with it, but I think the thought is like, oh, it's just water over and over. Like, I'm not. Yeah. Ugh. Which, I every time saw... I use a water bottle, I put the, all that in the dishwasher. Yeah. yeah. Yo, I saw a video of them busting open a water pipe, like, to show, like, our tap water <laughs> yeah, and what's disgusting. inside of it. It's disgusting. That's why yeah. I don't drink tap. Fuck. I was but drinking isn't it filtered tap. For, after was, the fact? No. I was drinking what? tap for, like, 
years and it made me like Out think I'm gonna die. I always no, drink. Yes, but I was you living do? near the Hollywood yeah. Reservoir and apparently we had the cleanest like. I just don't think about it because in the Midwest I'm just I was just. Mm. Oh. We're gonna die. Whatever. <laughs> Everything. I'm drinking an energy drink. My. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm cutting myself short, really. Yeah. That's pretty much it. People really didn't understand the assignment. We got a lot of can't live without. Oh, yeah. Also, people then were like, do you mean can't live without? Uh, and I'm like, no, it's written this way for a reason. <laughs> Maybe they saw TikTok and they're like, well, I can't live without that. So yeah. it must be can't. But I, yeah. What are some things people can't live without? Let's see if we could live without it. Yeah. Uh, balloons in an ice cube tray. Wait, hold on. What? what? <laughs> balloons Wait, in and an ice cube tray? Aaron, um, please reread that. It just says balloons and an ice cube tray. I can't what does live, that mean? I can't live without balloons. Um, Both of those I could live without. Let me go to the I've beginning. never even thought of those two things. I've never needed a balloon and ice cube trays. Not necessary. I mean, I would fruit. probably need it if I didn't Someone have... said fruit. Is that the most disappointing thing ever about balloons that... <laughs> That you gotta have helium for it to yeah. be a cool thing. Yeah. But if you blow it up, it's not that. I, and it's so sad. You have to go buy helium. It's this whole thing. Can you yeah. imagine seeing the first fucking balloon <laughs> where they figured out helium extracting that? And then oh it was God, like, oh God, look oh God, at oh this God. thing. It's just floating. They must have thought they solved like yeah everything also who was the first person to like suck in helium to oh, change their voice it so had to sick. have been an accident or like a drug someone was like i'm gonna or the like a scientist <laughs> you're yeah. just <laughs> i bet it was a scientist maybe that like, was like this will yeah. happen when you do this try it it's fun there's the opposite thing too like hexafluoride or something oh, that, done that it's the opposite of helium makes your voice super deep remember we did wait, that did, have, wait have you guys yes have you guys seen that new thing on tiktok where you like blow out and then you touch yes your mine doesn't do anything what i haven't tried can blow, we all try yeah. you blow okay so you go <sighs> blow out all the air of your lungs and then you like kind of choke and yourself and then like a hit bit. yourself in the throat and see what sound you make i don't make a sound wait, will you demonstrate okay Wait, if it, this Should I show a, a TikTok first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just all choking each other. Okay, how do just I search like this. this on TikTok? Blow all the air out. All. Keep going. Blow, blow, blow. And then, like, hit yourself in the throat and just go. <laughs> Let's hear it. Okay. <laughs> no. Nothing? You have to still be blowing out a little I, bit. I think I'm going to start laughing. I, I think it's like... <sighs> And it's oh. like, make a sound, oh. but mine doesn't make a sound. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did yours actually do that? <laughs> yeah, what is it? And you have you to try. do it while you're still blowing yeah, out. Yeah, you have to do it while you're blowing out. Blow out, and then right before you're done, give it a little push. Ow. No, you stop blowing out. You have to keep blowing out. Keep blowing out. No, I don't you know. Do no, you're not more. committing. You're not committing. I, mean, I am committing. Can I'm I hurting you? my neck. Wait, how hard are you hitting it? You have to, like, push your Like, throat. just push your air pipe Like, a push your bit. air pipe in. Okay. I did a little. <laughs> no, that's not what it. Blow out. I, it's I'm like not people are Blow making out. like a. Blow all the way. Keep going. No. Oh my god! Like a chiropractic attack. You really scared me. <laughs> Have Can you, you seen pull it? one up? That yeah. was cool. Because it's like they're not like even yours. I think it was like you making like a. Uh. No, no, that, I had no idea it was going to make a sound. Do well, now that I think I know it's going to make a sound. Don't just don't try. Just <sighs> mine doesn't make anything. No, yeah, you, now weren't, it's not. you weren't blowing out. I think I was. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't it. I think it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's really funny. No, the the ones that they're like way better like, than that. It's like, <laughs> yeah, that. It seems like they're done blowing. No, yeah, they all stop real. blowing. This is not real. I, I just did no, it twice. This is a quirky little TikTok trend where people are trying to get viral. They're no, like, no, oh, I think it's a real thing. I'm pretty nah, sure. I don't buy it. I know my throat hurts. I told Nolan to last night. He's like, I'm not you're doing squeezing. that. Squeezing. You have to like push to like get that last. Yeah, that would, the get the last pump of air out. <laughs> Our thumbnails just all just choking ourselves. We all pass out. Um, Are you guys gonna smoke weed today? No. no. Uh, yeah, later. Yeah. I always do at night though. Well, I'll take yeah, it. Carly's edible. like took my gummy. Took my gummy, bitch. Yep. Uh, all right, let's go eat some lunch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm starving and I have to pee. Thanks I for watching another episode of us complaining of the best influences of all time. The absolute best. Yes. Make sure to follow us literally everywhere. 
And we'll see you next week. See you guys. Bye.